Hello guys, I uh, just want to update you on the homestead I haven't been on for a while. Um, on Friday, I was in the hospital. Um, I've had some signs of what might be coronavirus. I'm not too sure if it is. Uh, they did take tests and so right now I'm just in isolation uh, at home. Um, and uh, I know I haven't posted a lot lately, actually in a while, but um, I've slept a lot. Uh, my lungs feel like uh, somebody sent me with a freight train. Uh, when I breathe in, it really hurts. Um, but uh, I don't know if it's just the flu, I'm hoping. Cross my fingers. Uh, everybody on Facebook is giving me lots of love. So hashtag love. There's lots of stuff going on in the world uh, today. And um, and uh, that's stuff that we can't control. Um, but this is the flu season and I'm just uh, hoping uh, that uh, this is nothing serious, uh, but I just have to work on sleeping it off. Uh, Wednesday I came home from uh, my place of work and uh, I um, basically went straight to bed. I went there, they sent me right back and um, and then on Friday, I woke up and I had a terrible pain in my chest and my arm. It felt like something like ripped right through my arm and it hurt like heck. And I thought maybe I was having a heart attack. Anyways, I, I went to the hospital. They asked me a bunch of questions. I was coughing a lot, um, dry cough. My face is full of mucus. Um, right now, um, I have a slight headache. Yesterday I didn't have a headache, but on Friday I had such a headache. It was so bad. I, I thought I was going to like throw up. And of course on Thursday it was a little bit milder, but Friday was definitely the worst day. Um, today I have a lot more energy. Yesterday I had uh, more energy as well. Um, but I did go to bed early and on average I'm sleeping about 12 hours. On Wednesday I slept 18 hours straight. I only got up uh, to go to the washroom and get some water and didn't eat or nothing. Um, and the other day I had um, seven pierogies and that's all I could stomach. So um, just wanted to do an update to let you guys know what's going on. Um, I will get my test results back um, hopefully tomorrow and uh, but they said that it could be up to 10 days because the labs are just swamped as you know um, but uh, I will tell you that the test is not comfortable they take a piece of uh, not wire but plastic and they shove it up your nose and it's got a little end on it and they take a sample and uh, so not very comfortable comfortable at all where it goes I don't know but uh, I don't want to know but uh and I'm not going to tell you about the sample because it's just not nice so anyways uh it didn't feel good anyways and um I basically slept the whole time while I was at the hospital other than getting my tests and stuff and I was in an isolation room and right now I'm on self-isolation um I am not allowed to leave the house um I have to stay here um so I do have um food I do have clothes and I do have um, other stuff and I've been just sort of trying to do a little bit here and there and then I, when I run out of energy I just end up back in bed and sleeping again so um, just wanted to do a quick update the world is a little bit scary right now um, and I just want to stress to everyone um, keep your faith in God um, it doesn't matter what religion you are um, this is a big thing. We have to come together as a whole and just keep your faith, uh, keep your, your families safe. Try not to go out if you don't have to. I know there's been a lot of uh, news out there about people going out and partying and stuff like that. And um, I would uh, strongly suggest that you didn't. I, I've read stuff on the news that people say it's a bunch of bogus but it's it really isn't um if you feel the way i feel and i don't even know if i have uh this virus but um 
it's it 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 just it just knocks you right down and um and it it's it's bad especially in your lungs my lungs are uh right here and all through here um it's just like massive pressure and it feels like somebody's ramming a car into you over and over again as i told my my brother i said it's like i've been hit by a freight train but it's just like when i lie down and i wake up i can barely get out of bed because it's so it hurts so much but um i am managing to stay positive uh through this there's nothing they can give me the doctor said that uh maybe take some benadryl he said uh Advil for this, uh, for the, the pain in the chest, or maybe Tylenol. But other than that, there's absolutely nothing. Somebody asked me, um, well, did they give you any, any, uh, not any, uh, what is it? Those um, sort of like um, penicillin type of stuff. And they didn't, they, they said that they don't, the doctor just said that there's nothing that they can give for this that they know of, so. Um, so on that note, I just want to stress, keep your families close. Um, if this is, uh, something that's going to, um, ride out for a long time. I don't think it's going to be solved in the next weeks or months. It's going to be a while. Um, another thing I did read that I just recognized when I, when I had the camera is I'm always touching my face and, and, uh, I read in our communications uh, from where I work, and I work in healthcare, uh, that on average, a person touches their face 15 times per minute. <laughs> Never mind an hour per minute. So um, just uh, stay safe, guys, and uh, just wanted to let you know what's going on here. Sorry about the background uh, with the light. I tried to damper it down with the patio doors there, but it's not working. But I just want to let you guys know that I'm safe. I do uh, love you guys all. Um, the um, the response on Facebook has been overwhelming, and um, I really appreciate it, and it's kept my spirits up. Um, so today for me is, uh, I guess, if we go back to when I was sent home on Wednesday. Uh, so we got Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. But I started feeling sick on Tuesday but thought I could go to work and I was sent right back home so let's say day six um, that I've had this um, infection and um, and I, I still have to wait to hear back for my results so it could be a little bit of time but just want to let you know I will post this uh, today today is Sunday March 22nd the time right now is 1:23 and 23 seconds that's uh central standard time in north america so i'm in the middle of canada so right below north dakota and south dakota and uh the texas area there going straight down so um so anyways uh guys stay safe uh keep praying for everybody out there i really 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 feel bad for everybody and and uh i really especially feel bad for the people in in um italy um, they, I just don't know how they're dealing with that. As a healthcare worker, I, I have no clue. And even in uh, Seattle, Washington, and New York, and places like that, other places like Spain, and they just, it's a war zone. And and uh, we're trying to get on top of this stuff. So, um, but anyways, guys, I'm gonna leave you with that. Uh, God bless all of you. Uh, stay safe. Try to stay in. I know it's hard, especially coming into the spring. Um, and especially when you have kids, um, I guess you'll have to do more, uh, play dates with the kids and movie nights and movies and video games. If you play video games, something to keep you busy. Um, I've been trying to clean my house and stuff like that. And I've got the dog outside and the cat outside and, and the chickens and that are outside, of course. But, uh, anyways, uh, stay, stay safe and, uh, keep your faith, keep your faith in God. And, uh. And if you don't believe in God, just uh, keep positive that we will get on top of this stuff. And, and uh, it's going to get worse before it gets better, but it will get better, guys. So take care. Love you all. God bless you. And, um, and keep praying to God. And uh, he'll, uh, he'll, uh, he'll take care of us.
But uh, right now we just got to ride out the storm. Take care, guys. We'll see you later.